There are four laws that make for encounter with the Father. The first is the law of bodies. When the spirit wants to encounter you, there are many dynamics of the spirit that is activated. Spirits will always woo you to where they are. So most times, when the spirit wants to encounter you, he will first of all initiate either a body or a summon in your spirit man. You may be doing and living your life comfortably until one day you lose your peace. And you are finding out what is the matter. And there is no cognitive word to interact, to interpret it. A spirit is beginning to summon you. When a generation does not understand the language of bodies, there will be scarcity of encounters. Many are hoping that the Lord will walk into their bedroom and encounter them. But most times, God is summoning you from Egypt to Horeb. But the bodies it brings to your spirit, you trivialize them. You wake up in the morning, it looks like you want to, you want to eat. And then when you went to touch the food, the food becomes like a sin. You want to eat it, it looks like a sin. There is an encounter in the corridor. So the Holy Ghost is trying to get you to turn to Him. If you fail to pay attention to that body, you will abort an encounter. Moses was in Egypt doing very well. He was one of the candidates that will become princes or kings to inherit Pharaoh, to succeed Pharaoh. But a day came, all of a sudden, Moses was troubled. Why are the Israelites being malhandled? I am also an Israelite. He thought it was a body. He stepped out and he wanted to kill every Egyptian. It was not about killing an Egyptian. The encounter of his destiny was coming to him in form of a body. And Moses will not interpret, interpret it correctly. How many Egyptians will you kill? It was not about the Egyptians. It was about the calling that was upon his life. So when God wanted to turn his attention and draw him from Egypt, he put a body in his heart. In that dissatisfaction, he was supposed to see God. There are times when you sit down, you become dissatisfied with the state of your family. How come people are struggling to get married while we are beautiful? It's not about marriage. An encounter is inviting you. Many times you sit down, why are deaths in this family? It's not about the death. An encounter is inviting you. Many times you are troubled. Why is nobody succeeding? Are we not supposed to? Are we not good enough? An encounter is inviting you. When a body begins to come to your spirit, shut down. That's a man who understands the law of body and begin to entreat the law. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Not long enough as you service that body, you will begin to hear sounds. So many other elements that travel to your space with that body will begin to lend themselves to you. And you stood up before. The body was about death. The body was about lack of success. And you started praying. You started praying. After a while, that same body now begins to talk to you in intangible but very cognitive terms add fasting to this prayer and then you added fasting you don't know what you are doing you have fasted for 20 days you don't even know why you are fasting but the body will not go and as you are servicing that body in prayer and in fasting when you read the 30th day you say add worship and then you add worship you didn't know what you were doing at the end of the day you are climbing Horeb it's a 40 days journey you are climbing you are not aware if you continue for a while, you will discover that you will hit a zenith in the spirit. And one day, the same prayers you have been praying, the same fasting you have been fasting, while you are yet fasting, you will encounter the Father and He will begin to speak to you. And that day, the Father will let you know the death was an excuse to bring you to the mountain of encounter. Daniel said, I understood by books that the years of captivity of Israel was supposed to be 70. And then he began to entreat the Lord for 21 days. He thought he was praying for Israel's deliverance. When he prayed for 21 days, an angel showed up. He said, I was giving speed to fly fast, to meet you and to give you skill and understanding. So the prayer activated an encounter with the cherubim. But Daniel thought it was important. Most of the encounters that would have changed your life, they came to you in form of bodies, but you were not aware, so you aborted them. You woke up in the morning, you felt like fasting, you say, oh boy, this is no easy, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow may not be the Kairos moment. Tomorrow may not be the Kairos moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, no. It's not everybody that will encounter God in a conference. 
It's not everybody that will encounter God by laying on of hands. We have different ways of responding to God. And God knows the way he fabricated you in the studio of eternity. So many times, he knows the language that will reach you fast is the language of body. Because you are a man that pay attention to details. And he brought body, but you aborted it. How many bodies have we aborted that have denied us life-changing encounters? Many things waiting in the spirit, but we can't travel there. We can't travel there. When Moses left Egypt for 40 years, he kept that body in his heart. He kept it until one day the Bible said he went to the backside of the desert. And as he was there, he saw a bush burning that was not consumed. The first thing God began to do was to talk to him about Israel. Because God knew that was the body of his heart. Thank you for watching and visiting Godfired TV. Kindly support us to bless more lives by subscribing to our channel and like our videos. Thank you and God bless you.